Bobby Ono already has a top five list of fantasy rookies next year. I mean, do you take a day off, dude? No, I've actually got a top 20. You can find it on NFL.com. That's a plug right there. Um, well, let's just talk about the top five. Yeah. Um, let's start with number five. Let's go with Joe Mixon. Uh, and I know Cincinnati's got that backfield committee with Jeremy Hill and Gio Bernard. But this kid was a first-round talent who fell to the second round because of the off-field issues. I would not be shocked if Nixon starts more games than any other Bengals running back this season. At number four, Corey Davis in Tennessee, great fit. They needed a number one wide receiver. Now they have a number one wide receiver. A lot of people have compared him to Terrell, Terrell Owens, and boy, do I like that comparison as a fantasy fan. And Marcus Mariota and Davis, that could be a very nice fantasy combination for years to come. At number three, Dalvin Cook, another committee situation. They signed Latavius Murray. They've got Jarek McKinnon. But Latavius is coming off an ankle, and this is the most talented running back they have on the roster. Much like Mixon, maybe he doesn't start the season as the guy. He will be the guy by the end of the season. I say he could be worth a fifth or a sixth round pick. I think he's going to be the guy before the season even starts. Ooh. And I'm fascinated by how these running backs fit in with the teams that drafted him. Right. you got uh, running backs at one and two on your list yeah. as well. Yeah, I love running backs. Everybody knows that. And Christian McCaffrey, was there more hype around any player in this draft? He shot up the draft. It board, was didn't ridiculous. He? After the combine, he was a first round lock, and then he ends up going eighth. And Jonathan Stewart, well, it was fun while it lasted, but his fantasy value is going downhill. McCaffrey, a guy who can run between the tackles, catch the ball out of the backfield, potential fifth or sixth round pick in, in PPR leagues, maybe a fourth rounder. And in number one, I, this is the biggest no brainer in the history of no brainers. It's obviously Leonard Fournette, who goes to Jacksonville, Chris Ivory, TJ Yeldon take a step back. This kid, fourth overall, you don't draft a guy that high and not give him 20 carries each and every week. They also grabbed Cam Robinson in the second round to try and help fortify that offensive line. So Fournette, believe it or not, maybe a third-round pick in some fantasy leagues. After seeing what Ezekiel Elliott did last mm -hmm. year in terms of uh, rookie running backs. By the way, Blake Bortles tied for the team lead in Jacksonville last year with three rushing they touchdowns. They could not run Chris it. Ivory. They no. will be able to run it now. No question. Michael Fabiano, our senior fantasy analyst. He does not take a day off, ladies and gentlemen.